the Andromeda Galaxy is revealed in unprecedented detail in four archived observations from the Hubble Space Telescope. These four observations made by Hubble's advanced camera for surveys give a close-up view of Andromeda's galaxy, also known as Messier 31. Observations of most galaxies do not normally show the individual stars. Even the most powerful telescopes can't normally resolve the cloudy white shapes into the hundreds of millions of constituent stars. In the case of Andromeda, however, astronomers have a few tricks up their sleeves. Firstly, images from Hubble have unparalleled image quality as a result of the telescope's position above the atmosphere of the Earth, free from any terrestrial interference. Secondly, Andromeda is closer to our own galaxy than any other spiral galaxy. So close that it can even be seen with the naked eye on a very dark night, as it is in fact around six times the width of the full moon. Thirdly, these observations avoid the crowded centre of the galaxy, where the stars are closest together and hardest to separate from one another. The resulting images offer a different perspective on a spiral galaxy. Far from being an opaque, dense object, Hubble reminds us that the dominant feature of the galaxy is a huge void between its stars. The four images look superficially similar, but on closer inspection they reveal some important differences. The two images taken in Andromeda's halo show the lowest density of stars. The halo is a huge and sparse sphere of stars that surrounds a galaxy barely visible to the human eye. While there are relatively few stars in a galaxy's halo, studies of the rotation rate of galaxies have suggested the mysterious presence of an invisible dark matter. Meanwhile, the images of stars in Andromeda's disk and a region known as a giant stellar stream show stars far more densely packed, largely outshining the background galaxies. The galaxy's disk includes the distinctive spiral arms as well as dimmer and less numerous stars in between the gaps. The giant stellar stream is a large structure which extends out from the disk and is probably a remnant of a smaller galaxy that was absorbed by Andromeda in the distant past. These observations were made between 2004 and 2007 to observe a wide variety of stars in Andromeda, ranging from a faint main sequence stars like our own Sun to the much brighter double R Lyra stars which are a type of variable star. Double R Lyra stars are extensively used in globular cluster studies and are also used to study chemical properties of older stars. With these measurements, astronomers can determine the chemistry and ages of the stars in each part of the Andromeda galaxy. The purpose of these observations is to demonstrate their exceptional depth and in order to gain a useful data on dim, distant stars, a long series of individual exposures had to be made in each field. Together, they combine to make images with a long exposure time. This incidentally has also revealed the faint background galaxies which would otherwise have been invisible.